Hey everyone and welcome to my review and overview of the new Sims 3 store set which is the Bohemian Gardens. In case you're not aware, you probably are, but Bohemian actually refers to either someone from Bohemia or someone with atypical or unorthodox um, social behaviors basically. So like a lot of times people refer to artists and all of that as being bohemian. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of that. So what you're about to see right now is my cash and show. I haven't done one of these in a little while, but I'm going to be doing one for the clothes in this set. And I look forward to hearing uh, what you think about that. We'll be right back with the overview itself. Do you feel as though there's something missing in your life? Up the Bohemiante with this fabulous floral dress. Available in sizes for both teen and misses, this mini dress raises not only the hem, but the bar. A damask print adds a touch of earthy class while the structured collar adds pizzazz. First things first, our lovely model Elizabeth is showing off the go-go boots. These boots are a delightful marriage of comfort, form, and function. While one day they may end up walking all over you, at least you'll know that that's what they were made for. Your indomitable effervescence will bubble up in this bubble sleeve dress. The second dress in our collection to show off a damask print, this postmodern blend of structure and softness is certain to please. This soft jersey tennis dress sports a fresh southwestern print. Slightly fitted at the waist but flaring at the bottom, this sexy v-neck wonder will score you the kind of love which doesn't leave you feeling like a zero. Let me introduce our cowgirl shirt. Reverse or no, this style is always a hit. The southwestern printed button-down features an asymmetrical closure, oversized brass buttons, large folded collar, and a solid contrast back. You can get it, girl. Women and teens alike will favor this multicolored skirt. The shape, a softly gathered miniskirt with floral detail, and leggings create the effortless look that is synonymous with La Boheme. Okay, so, one thing I have to note, there is a dress which is available for both women and teens. It is called the Dainty thing a thing a thing. I have uh, the Dainty Dress and Jacket. I could not find it. I seriously just could not find it in cast mode. I haven't looked as to whether or not there's a glitch and it has to be repaired. But I was, it's just, uh, I went into a rage sweat trying to find this thing. So I was like, no, nah, mm -mm. So we're going to have her come on out and sit. Now we're going to talk about the different items which came with the set. I have to sneeze. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this set in total, including the premium content, which is these plants that we'll get to, comes with a, uh, 24 items. It is 1,450 sim points, and it will be going up to, I think, I think... 1600 although I'm not completely positive. Let's see if she can sit at the fire pit, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, there's an issue with these poofs. If you want to use them around the fire, it's a little difficult to get them to face. Yeah, she's, um, but you can use other chairs and use these for, like, inside your house. I think they would be great for a teenager's room. But anyway, we'll, we'll talk about those in just a second. The first item is the wonderfully woven hanging chair, which these ladies have just uh, sat down in, well, in which they've sat down. And I think it's really lovely. It is a filigree-style weave, very intricate, very well done, and every part of it is recolorable, meaning that you can recolor the outer wicker part, the pillows, uh, the base, and the, uh, or the lower cushion, and then, yeah, the cushion in the back. It can all be recolored. The next item is this poof that we were just talking about. It's available for, in presets for these three colors, but they are recolorable so that you can put it in different patterns and do really whatever you want with them. Um, I think the detailing on them is very nice. It's an Ottoman style poof chair and it's super cute. I can see a lot of applications for it. Uh, the next item up on our list is actually in here. I'm going to go in order just to keep from getting confused. So the first one is up here. It is the simple hanging lantern in the, there's a ceiling form. The hanging form and then there is the desk form. Now if you'll notice this looks a lot like um, one of the lanterns that came with the Indian inspiration set but I do think it fits, um, I'm shifting in my chair, I do think it fits with the overall tone of the set. Um, I like it. 
I do. I like it. This house is actually a little bit on the bohemian side. Okay, so next up we have the string of inspiration, which is this one here. This light can actually be hung from pretty much anywhere without having move objects on, which is really cool. And you can snap it right to the gazebo. And then there's a wall variety, which I need to... Yeah, there's a wall variety. These are very bright lights, actually. I haven't... Um, oops, we had our 3 a.m. There we go. I haven't had to add any brightness or anything like that. I haven't had to adjust the color or brightness on these lights. They are, in fact, as they come out of, uh, right out of the box, I suppose you could say, right out of buy mode. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the next is the, the one with Earth Garden Gazebo. That's what we're looking at. It has a pagoda style, um, steel scalloped roof. And, uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's got the ivy around the outside. The detailing is very nice. It's intricate and it's quite lovely. I'm, I'm really fond of it. You can, like I said, you can hang these chairs from pretty much anywhere and they hang nicely inside there. I can see having parties out here. It'd be pretty cool. And I can, uh, I can actually see myself using this quite a bit. I'll probably actually put it down in my Monta Vista. LP because I think it's I think it's really nice. The next thing is come on down. Next thing is this this rose that I put on this table. It's a little bit uh, rough in terms of texturing around the outside, but I do think it does resemble a rose. And the glass in the in which it resides is very nice. Uh, what else is there? Next up, we have the whimsical wildflowers which is this purple variety right here. And next to it, the pink ones are the wonderfully wild flowers. Behind it in a row, we have the carefree wildflowers, which are the yellow ones, and then the timeless tulips. Now these place down, like you set them down and they are in a row like this. It's really nice that they're so dense. It gives you a good amount of texture. You don't really have to screw around with a lot. Um, but if you, so desire you can do stuff like this and in order to do this you have to go you have to use cheats um, actually so I'm gonna show you how to do that in case you don't know you're gonna hit control shift C and make sure that your testing cheats uh, are on so that means you're gonna type all in one word testing cheats enabled and then true now I actually already have them on so I'm not gonna type that the next thing that you want to type is move objects true. Now I don't have them on right now. Actually, I might. And then what you're able to do is put items on top of each other. So I can take these and actually put them together and create something which has a little bit more depth, a little more character. This is a common trick that a lot of builders use and it just uh, gives you more options. And then like here, for example, you can put down this rock, but as you notice, it doesn't snap perfectly now. The way you do that is when you have move objects on, you hold down Alt, and you can freely move the objects exactly how you want. You can also turn them in any way you want. So yes, you can create things like this. Now why, while we're actually in buy mode, um, I'm going to actually get rid of just this light right now. You see these plants? These are all the new plants that are premium content which is part of the set and what uh what you have to do to get those right out of the gate is you hit control shift c with your testing cheats enabled and you have to be in buy mode then you type one word by debug now i already have it on so what you you just hit uh the, you just type by debug and then hit enter and you're done but i'm not going to do that because i have it on and then you go into debug because you have to press that and you're under plants and the easiest way to do it because these are store content is just to sort by store content and the plants which are new are included and when you take them out they are fully mature and you can harvest them within a few hours which is a really cool trick as well so let's talk about the premium content now it comes with some flavor text as well and it is the Fruits and nuts. Oh, I should know this. I thought I wrote it down, but yes, the fruits and nuts um, 
thing. It's fruits and nuts. So it says, it's time to head out to the garden and plant an exciting variety of new fruits and nuts. And nothing goes better with fruits and nuts than chocolate. So basically, it's actually going to be coming up on the morning. Oh yeah, you can see some of these are, we'll be able to harvest them. So you have strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and cocoa. I don't know if the pecan trees came with it, but they are nuts, so I'm just going to say, okay, they did. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. But they do, it definitely does include the peach tree and the pear tree. And it's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to have Elizabeth come on over and tend the garden. It's pretty cool because these are all edible, and they can harvest them, and I'm pretty sure they can probably make, like, blueberry pancakes and stuff, which I think is really neat. And I'm very excited just in general, to see how it, uh, to see how my Sims enjoy these things. And the texturing on these items, it's really cute. All of them are very detailed. Like you, whoop. nope, I lied. What'd you do? I lied. Nope. Okay, there we go. You can just take them out, and you can see it's very detailed. Oop. Hi. Come on. Come on. Oop, oop, oop. Super cute. Sorry about that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. An interesting thing to note is that obviously these plants grow in different locales, but I think it's not only does it is it really cool because your Sims can have these plants wherever they want. Like for example, strawberries and blueberries. Berries in general tend to grow better in temperate climates and near water. So like I actually used to live in a place where we had a creek nearby and I used to go grab wild blueberries off of bushes around the creek and they were delicious. Um, and then, you know, your pecans and peaches tend to grow further down south. Your pears um, also kind of grow in that, that sort of mid-range temperature. And um, yeah, Pretty much, oh, and cocoa grows near the equator, essentially. It has to be near the equator. And I think that uh, while you have a couple options, like I said, your Sims can have these things wherever they want them, or you can keep with a theme and whatever, uh, whatever world you have them living in, you can put down plants which actually make you feel more involved, if you know what I mean. And I think that's pretty cool. Now, like I said, this set is 1,450 sim points, and it's currently not available for Complete My Set. I think that the clothes are available separately. The only thing that's not available separately, as far as I'm aware, is the premium content, the, the new plants. I just sneeze. Mm. Oh, I apologize, that was my phone. So those are the only things which aren't aware are available, but... Uh, or I sh I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. But I think that it's really cool. I'm glad I have it. You know I don't like to, to assign any sort of numerical value or anything like that. I'm not, uh, I'm not fond of that because who am I to tell you how to spend your money and tell you what to like? What I can say is I think that the, the items in this set are incredibly well made. They look beautiful. They complete, um, a lot of the country items released in the store, they complete it, but I think that what's nice is you can sort of, you can combine these with pretty much anything and not, not have to worry about, um, really pigeonholing yourself into a given style. So, that being said, I'm glad I have this, and I'm curious what you think and whether or not you're going to buy it. Um, please remember to leave a comment in the comment section in the inbox, the mailbox. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please remember to give it a share, maybe, and, um, definitely if you could rate it, I appreciate it. What do you know, whatever rating you want to give it, but I just, uh, I just like your feeling. I just like your feedback. I'm a hot mess right now. So hopefully this helped, and I will see you pretty soon in my next episode. So take care. Bye.